The Smart Play Agent automatically scans and reports hardware and software information for every endpoint in your environment. With that information, you can easily deploy, patch, and uninstall software from the Smart Play console. Let's take a look at software asset management in Smart Play. First, I'm going to show you the software management view in the Smart Play console. For those already familiar with the computer management view, you know that you must first install the Smart Play client onto an endpoint, and then that client begins reporting information about that endpoint back to the console. And the computer management view allows you to perform certain actions on those endpoints. The software management view is an expansion of that functionality. On each endpoint, the Smart Play client will automatically collect a list and details of all installed pieces of software, and will report that information back to the console. In other words, any of the common details that would show up in add remove programs or apps and features will be collected and sent off to the console, and the software management view is where that information can be found. From here, you get the complete view of everything that is installed across your environment. In this demo, I'm working with a VM, so there's not a ton of software here, but this list will grow longer in your environment with more machines. And keep in mind, this is all software installed, whether you installed it using smart to play or not. From this view, you can right-click any of the software items and click View Clients, and that will display a list of all endpoints that have that application installed. You can also uninstall the application from all clients, or from the View Clients window, you can uninstall the application from a single endpoint. You may have noticed a list of uninstall strings in the Software Management view. This string is one of the details of each piece of software that the Smart to Play client automatically retrieves from the Windows registry on each endpoint. This command is added to the registry automatically when most pieces of software are installed, so that Windows will have the necessary knowledge to uninstall it if the user should wish to do so. To put it simply, this is the command that is executed if you were to manually uninstall that application on the endpoint itself, whether from apps and features, or by typing this command into an administrative command prompt. From the console, you will now have the ability to execute this uninstall string remotely on a single client, a group of clients, or all of your clients company-wide. This can be very useful for freeing up software licenses that are activated but aren't in use, or for removing a piece of software that may pose a threat to security or productivity. In most cases, pushing out the uninstall command that we have automatically retrieved should have the effect of uninstalling the application silently. But, as with automatic installations, we recommend testing automatic uninstallations on a small group of test machines before attempting it company-wide. As you may have also noticed in the right-click menu, we've included the ability to edit this uninstall string so if you find in your testing that the existing uninstall string requires a user to click through a wizard, for example, you would need to peruse the documentation for that software and identify a method which will not require any user interaction, such as adding a silent switch. There are a few applications listed here with MSI exec uninstall commands. Smart to Play generates these automatically for any applications that were installed with an MSI file, using standard MSI exec options and that application's specific GUID, and those should generally work pretty well. But don't be shy about changing these, as long as that change is a method that is supported by that software vendor and something that you've successfully tested yourself. And finally, please feel free to reach out to support. We can't make any promises about our knowledge of any specific third-party software, but we've been doing this a long time and there's a good chance we may be able to point you in the right direction. In addition to this separate software management view, we've added details about installed software to the computer management view. If you click on a single computer, you'll see that we've also added this new computer details view will show you more hardware, software, and message history information about a specific computer. From the installed software list in this view, you can easily deploy an application that is missing from the list, or uninstall specific software, just as you can from the software management view. And like in computer management, the other actions you can perform on this one specific computer will appear on the ribbon at the top of the screen. And there's a quick overview of software asset management in Smart Deploy. As always, if you have any feedback or questions, post a comment below or shoot us an email at feedback at smartplay.com. Thanks everyone for watching.